Whoa. It's the illusion. Reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Running solo this afternoon. And, uh, I gotta get that. It's not making a pleasant sound. A little discombobulated today. Disconnected, if you will. So gnarly, man. I noticed the, uh, the program in the matrix starting to shift the other day, right? Like the way I view it is I'm looking around for graffiti that tells me I'm in a new gang's territory, right? Signs. Sometimes I'm going into a good neighborhood, spiritually speaking, or sometimes I'm heading into a bad neighborhood. And if I'm not paying attention to the signs around me, I can end up in a bad neighborhood and not be ready for it. These neighborhoods are in my mind. So, I noticed that things began to shift a couple of days ago. And I was looking at the signs around me which were telling me, all right, the the uphill radicalness of and thing is is now we've gotten to the top of the roller coaster, we're going for a downswing. Because what I always talk about is like when things are going your way, life's pretty easy, man. But that's the most dangerous time that you have is like when it's going your way because that means it's about to not go your way. It's just inevitable. So all of a sudden I started noticing the signs and uh, what's trippy. It's also trippy, man. Right, like I manifested I want to get to the million subscribers on YouTube. Boom, my thing took off out of the blue. And then all of a sudden, 40,000, it's gonna flatline for a bit, right? And so like I get all pumped, like I'm all right, like I got into the manifesting vibe, like all positive. And then I also am like a realist looking at what's going on and I'm like the algorithm shot that bowl cut video into the thing and it's totally artificial. Like YouTube's a totally artificial manufactured like scene. Like I'm super grateful those of you who chose to stick around and subscribe, but I'm also fully aware that if like YouTube didn't decide to like hype up the bowl cut video a couple weeks ago, I would be where I've been for the last like year and a half, which is like I just flatlined for a long time, but you know what? I, I trudge through, I, I keep showing up, I keep making videos, all right, all right. Here we are, man. So all of a sudden I just noticed the numbers drop off, I noticed a couple other things, and then all of a sudden like today I was like underwater. Like, whoa, dude. Like, oh, now I'm battling my myself you know, versus the uh, perception issue. Now the perception's in me. And I go, well, what, what what happened? Did I eat something weird the other day? Cause you know, I got the candida thing, right? And I'm I already suffer from a little bit of depression and whatnot. So I'm like, did I eat some like wheat or something like that? Or like have some sugar and this and that. And I, you know, ah, da, 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 like trying to blame it on something, right? Can't be me can't be just me and then so like I kind of rolled in today and I was battling it and then I went to swim lessons with owl and for like an hour it was all gone dude I was all in the high frequency zone because it wasn't about me man it was about owl and we're swimming and I'm just trying to make sure he's having a good time and he doesn't drown right like that'll take your brain off any sort of peripheral issues and then I was gonna go in and skate, man, and and all of a sudden that, like I'm like a kind of like, I gotta skate when I'm like in the zone, like I can't really force it and I felt the window coming, especially since I haven't been skating that much lately. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna go skate and then the window faded and I just was like, dude, and then it just, (laughs) I went off the cliff and I went and I took a nap because sometimes I just got to escape my own head. I went and took a nap. And I woke up and I was like post nap, like all crazy guy now. And I'm like, hmm, 
hmm. So I took a shower and I got down to the hill and I just started looking for surf and it's all blown out and windy and crappy. And I'm like, all right. And I got a message from this kid who was, who was getting a hold of me that like his thing's going okay all of a sudden. He was reaching out for some help. And um, all right, I'm kind of getting my mojo back, right? And uh, it's just that gnarly thing where like, you got to brace for the storms. Like, like life is very cyclical. Like eventually it will rain. You so you better have an umbrella. So it it I, I'm getting a little bit of rain and I don't really know what to do. And I guess this is what's kind of like got me jammed up on YouTube a little bit all of a sudden because I was all into the you know the endorphins were firing like ooh subscribers things are happening this this and that, and then um, you know I look at it and I don't really know what the YouTube crowd wants because. I know it's not what, like, why are people so weird? And uh, I, so I was like, all right. All I know for sure is the videos that I enjoy making, people don't really enjoy. <laughs> what? Except the no balls, no nuts ones, right? And the, uh, and the videos that, that are just sort of like random, like seem, people seem to get super hyped on. Like the coffee thing, who would have figured? And then there's the ones that are the self-help videos, like the no means no, like huge positive response on that, right? And I can do that. I'm all about being part of the solution, right? But I also have to be part of like creating stuff. Me sitting here talking in front of a camera is not me being creative, right? Like. It's me, stream of conscious. It's it's I'm channeling something that's I'm sharing my experience, strength, and hope with you because you may or may not want it, right? So I'm kind of at this weird crossroads because you know I am like everybody, not everybody else. That's a that's a blanket statement I shouldn't have. I am a human being experiencing the human form, and I run off things too. Like I, I self-aggrandizement, the ego, all the bedevilments. I want to be successful. Not that I'm not in my weird way on YouTube because I've been around here a long time, but it's like, I want to make cool content that, that, that I enjoy, but yet I got to do it for the sake of making it right. Like I can't, I can't care. Like, it's not about money, man. Like, I was thinking about that today. Like, why was I getting all pumped on subscribers? Like, what does that translate to me? And I was like, it's just kind of cool that people... Are, I ran into a dude today get with Owl who's like, you're the guy who made the skill saw video. And I go, did you laugh? And he's like, yeah, dude. And I was like, that's awesome. And that was a rant, just a random video. Like, uh, that's what I enjoy about YouTube is the meeting the people on the street and taking a, a picture with them or talking to them for a minute. I met this cool kid Camden at the skate park the other day, watches my videos. Like that's why I get pumped on the subscribers because it like means that the, my odds of bumping into cool people has exponentially grown, right? Cause you're not subscribing to my channel if you're lame. I, that, that's the thing. I've, I've put the, the filter out there like, like, if you've stopped, if you can't get into what I'm doing and you split, like, that's cool, man. I get it. I'm not for everybody. And so here I am, writer's block, if you will, or, or what to do next or because my mind wants me to lay in the bed and go, I'm doomed. My mind wants me to look at the, the, the graph and be like, dude, you're failing again, blah, 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 blah. But I'm still, I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm re-motivating myself going, dude, I'm making that million subscribers, dude. I'm getting that stupid YouTube placard. I don't even really truly care for YouTube that much as a platform. I think they're kind of overhyped and, but whatever, we're doing our thing. So whatever, who cares? But I, like I said in the videos before, I got to have somewhere to aim my boat and row to. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get some organic coffee here. 
I'm gonna upload this video and I'm gonna go paddle out in the Pacific Ocean, windy and crappy, and I'm gonna go catch a couple waves. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna grab my children, tell them I love them, I'm gonna hug the hologram, tell them I love her. I'm gonna get up tomorrow, I'm gonna swing for the fences again. That's what I'm gonna do because if I let this thing, this thing in here, see in there and there, beat me, dude. I don't know if it's the signal, right? Because I talk about it a lot. I don't know if I don't know if it's the algorithm. I don't know if it's just dumb dumb endorphins or 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 what not, not endorphins, the dopamine hits they give you, or if it's the food I ate, or it's just because there's gonna be a full moon and I'm on on the rag. I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you. But what I will tell you is when that thing gets a hold of me, it debilitates me, man. It makes me cranky. It makes me irritable. It makes me unpleasant to be around. And it depresses me because I don't want to be that guy. I want to be the guy that you see and you're like, that guy's inspirational. That's the guy I want to be with. I don't want to be with Hiroshima Nagasaki, man. I don't want to be with the depressed guy, dude. Fortunately, that window shrinks, but that depressed guy can make so much trouble, dude. Ask the hologram, dude. I can't believe she puts up with me sometimes, but she loves me, and that's all that matters, right? So um, thank you for listening, because whatever I was just talking about, I feel 100% better. And if I can do that in 11 minutes and 23 seconds, dude, you can do it too, and that's what this is all about. And the dude who's sending me the videos from wherever plant spaceship earth those are rad dude so people have been this one guy is sending me private videos because he doesn't want to go public with it and it's this weird kind of like lens dude it's pretty trippy so any, so on the final note anyone who wants to send me any creative ideas i'm pretty down with it man want to ask me any questions i'm down with my content is free to use however you want if you want to make some your own weird stuff with it i'm cool just don't be mean and hateful and all that kind of stuff you got any ideas you want to inspire me man i'm looking for new stuff to read new music to listen to anything to fill this head with anything but me <laughs> basically so this is the illusion i'm tuning out i'm getting the coffee i'm gonna paddle out in the pacific ocean go hug my family tell them i love them i love you guys thank you without you there is no me so and all you new Patreon subscribers, super rad. I'm going to have a little special video for you guys here coming up. And the people who have bought t-shirts, thank you for supporting the dream and the art and all that good stuff, dude. It's the illusion. I'm out.